Welcome to this week's Clarion Energy News. I'm Elizabeth Ingram, Content Director for Clarion Energy. Here are the top three stories we've been following. Number three, there are a total of about 530,000 potentially feasible pumped hydro energy storage sites worldwide, with a total storage potential of about 22 million gigawatt hours. These astonishing numbers come from a report recently released by researchers with Australian National University's RE100 group. Pumped hydro constitutes 97% of electricity storage worldwide because of its low cost, and the proportion of wind and solar photovoltaics in the electric grid is extending considerably. This means additional long-distance high-voltage transmission, demand management, and local storage is required for stability. The massive storage potential of about 22 million gigawatt hours is about 100 times greater than required to support a 100% global renewable electricity system, ANU says. The identified sites are outside national parks that are mostly closed loop. Brownfield sites, such as existing reservoirs and old mining sites, will be included in a future analysis. Number two. In the U.S. states of Louisiana, Arkansas, Texas, and Mississippi, Entergy Corp's utilities are building, close to completing, or acquiring more than four gigawatts of gas fire generation capacity over the coming year. The utility announced the projects in its integrated report released last week. Entergy also plans to add utility scale and rooftop solar as it replaces three older generation plants. The first coming online this summer will be the St. Charles Power Station, Entergy Louisiana's 980 megawatt combined cycle gas turbine unit. In addition, the 994 megawatt Lake Charles CCGT power station is expected to be completed by 2020. And Entergy, Entergy Louisiana has gained state regulatory approval to acquire the Washington Parish Energy Center, a 361 megawatt simple cycle combustion turbine plant, which should be in action by 2021. Entergy's Mississippi unit plans to close later this year on its acquisition of an 810 megawatt CCGT plant in French Camp. Earlier this year, Entergy New Orleans began construction on the 128 megawatt New Orleans power station, which will be gas-fired reciprocating internal combustion engines and gen sets, expected to be online by 2020. Finally, Entergy Texas began work this year on the 993 megawatt Montgomery County power station with completion by 2021. And now our top story. Electric vehicles may number 10 million in only six years and outnumber conventional automobiles by 2040, creating a $2 trillion economic opportunity for electric utility companies in North America and Europe. This forecast comes from a new report by Accenture Strategy, using input from 6,000 consumers globally. Of that group, 63% said they would switch to EVs to save money on operation and maintenance costs in the long term. Current obstacles in this market include high costs of vehicles and charging stations, long charging times, and impact on energy bills. But companies are working to address these obstacles. For example, EV battery costs have fallen more than 80% in the past six years, and battery-driven cars are fast becoming comparable to conventional autos price-wise. The report says consumers want utilities as trusted advisors with opportunities in energy sales, financing, charging infrastructure, fleet management, and more. The future opportunity is not without its challenges, such as the need for $150 billion in required costs to provide public charging infrastructure. Yet utilities have a potential $250 billion e-mobility related services market to tap through such services as charging station installation, maintenance, and financing, according to the report. At the beginning of this newscast, I told you about the vast pump storage hydropower potential available worldwide. Pump storage is just one topic that will be covered at the High Division International event, taking place July 23rd through 25th in Portland, Oregon in the United States. This world's largest hydro industry event covers all aspects of hydroelectric power globally, including small hydropower and marine energy. Visit hydroevent.com to learn more and to register to attend. That's it for this edition of Clarion Energy News. I'm Elizabeth Ingram. Thank you for watching.